Hi, my name is Jashana Drake, and we are so glad to have yes. you at this session of the Queen's Roundtable. And I'm Evangelist Prophetess Valerie Ammons, and I am exuberant, and my exuberance just, it just flutters all around yes. because I am so happy. Yes. I'm so happy to be able to share the good news, the gospel. Yes. And I am just praising and thanking God for what he's doing for the Queen's Roundtable, yes. for UPTV, yes. for all of God's children, yes. all of God's queens all yes. over the world. Yes. And yes. I am just excited. Yes. So we're just going to go to the throne. We're just going to give our petitions to God and we're going to be fully persuaded, yes. fully persuaded that he is about answering our prayers because he is the giver. Yes. Almighty God, in your precious son, Jesus name, God, we glorify you. We edify you. We magnify you on today. You are worthy of the praise. God, we repent of anything that we said or did that did not edify you, that yes. did not glorify you, that misrepresented you. God, we repent right now in the yes. name of Jesus. God, we thank you for what you're doing in our lives and what yes. you're going to do. God, we lift up our families. We lift up the queens all over the world. That that you would just open up the windows of heaven and pour us out a blessing too big to receive. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. And God, we ask you to go to the, to the hospitals, to the nursing homes, and to the prisons, Lord, and just send the laborers there, Lord, so they'll know who you are and how great you are. In the name of Jesus, we pray. And everybody agree with the prayer I said? Amen. 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 Well, we're excited to yes. be back this week. This is our 11th week, yes. and we're just rolling yes, on. Yes, we are. <laughs> we are rolling on. We were just talking about that before, how we're excited about just keeping going and, keep, and being persuaded. I love yes. that word that you're using, considering the fact that the election was just... Uh, taking place mm -hmm. and we are so excited to say that President Obama is our president for yes. four more years. Four more years. And we're excited about that. We're happy about that. Yes. And what's going on and we know that God has his hand over everything. Every, yes, everything. Everything. So no matter what we think or what we God has his hands yes. over all of that. So yes. we're excited about that. Our session today. Yes. We're yes. back on sex. We're talking sex. Sex. Yes. 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 sex. That's yes. <laughs> We are back on sex and we're talking about it because this is a conversation that has to be discussed. Yes. It has to be talked about and we have to educate each other, ourselves, yes. our children and our uh, communities yes. about sex. So we are excited to be talking about it. We're excited not to be afraid of it yes. anymore. We are going to undemonize what God has set yes. forth. Yes, and I'm still going to be talking about virginity. Okay. Um, I've just learned so much about it in the last uh, four or five days where I really was doing research. Okay. But you know what? I wasn't just so much researching as that I was, as my uncle used to say, pay attention. <laughs> I was paying attention right. to what was going around me, what okay. was going on around mm -hmm, me. Mm -hmm. And I, I critique the show every, every week. I critique mm -hmm. the show. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, my daughter asked me a question about uh, how do you wait? Mm -hmm. So I am going to elaborate on that because I didn't elaborate on it before, but I will elaborate it on it uh, a little bit uh, in the show. Okay. So right now we're going to talk about sex. All right. Well, what we had well, last week, we, we gave acronyms on mm -hmm. sex, mm -hmm. the godly way and the worldly way. And we mm -hmm. talked about sex being um, uh, in the worldly way, the sensual mm -hmm. and um, how it should be set apart in the holy sense in, in God's sense. And we talked about those different things. And you know how I love to work with acronyms and I love how God uh, gives me revelations mm -hmm. on that. So today we're going to talk about love and lust. Okay. Love versus lust okay. and the spirit of each one okay. and how we um, basically bring That's forth. That's powerful. It, That's it, right. It's very powerful and it's, it's much needed. Mm -hmm. So what um, I'm first going to say the body was created with natural instincts. We have to understand that first. Our body was created naturally. We talked about um, puberty and hormones mm -hmm. and all those things. Those were actually put inside of us. Those are not things that are demons. Right. Those are natural things and natural instincts. And we read last week how um, we should not be uh, necessarily ruled by exactly. those things. Absolutely. Those are not things that we should be struggling or wrestling in because mm -hmm. Paul said that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against, but against spirits and principalities, principalities and th high, things in high, high places. places. Yes. So we have to understand that those things that are in our bodies, we don't have to struggle and wrestle with these mm -hmm. things. They are to be coming up under subjection. Mm, absolutely. And it speaks about that um, in 1 Corinthians 9, 24 and 27, mm -hmm. how our body should be under the subjection to the Holy Spirit. 
-hmm. That's what it speaks about. So we have to make that very clear. When you feel these things, these hormones, it's not for you to wrestle with them and struggle and, to and toil with them. It's not about that. It's to bring it under subjection. Know that you, along with God, have the power to control these things. Mm -hmm. That's what it's about. Absolutely. It's not about struggling. It's about having control. And secondly, um, when we engage in the act of sex, we invoke the spiritual realm. We have to understand that yes. no matter what, we invoke the spiritual realm. Now, it's up to us through the fruits of the act. We can decipher what spirits were involved. Mm -hmm. So after, you know, once we begin to um, engage in the act of sex and the things that come afterwards, you can pretty much tell what spirit was being led. Was it love or was it lust mm -hmm. through the fruits mm -hmm. that are, are, are coming out mm -hmm. from that act? Um, the atmosphere is set before the act for the spirit, whichever one, to settle in. Okay. We have to understand that. So let's deal with, we got kind of like a, a little battle going on in a sense mm -hmm. uh, with love versus lust. Mm -hmm. We're going to deal with that. Um, first, in the spirit of love, we can go, we understand that um, the Greeks had a lot of terminology. We have filial love, mm -hmm. yes. um, the brotherly love. Mm -hmm. We had agape love, which God has uh, for conditional. all, unconditional. Mm -hmm. And we're talking about the eros love to mm -hmm. a certain extent, which is the love between a male and a female mm -hmm. or that physical mm -hmm. attraction okay. kind of love. Okay. Right. And when we deal with that, we understand that um, in the spirit of love, love means wanting good to come for another or willing to work for their benefit. Mm -hmm. That's what love really is about. That's the whole root of love. And when you go to the L in lust, you have um, lust is a strong desire for something wrong. So think about that. When we're doing the act, of, when we're in the act of sex, is this something that's being done for love? Or is it something that's being done for lust? Are we doing something and we wanting good to come to this person? Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> or are we? Or is this a strong desire? And, and deep down, we know that this is not right. Mm -hmm. We have to think about that. And we're going to move on to um, life. In 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 love, there it brings the spirit of life mm -hmm. as well. Life is the total ex substance of a person's existence. Mm -hmm. When you are getting ready to have sex with someone, understand that this is supposed to be about life. It's supposed to be about the total. Are you really concerned about the total substance of this person? Mm -hmm. are, we, or, or are we just concerned about their physicality? Are we really concerned about their spirit? Mm -hmm. Are we concerned about how they're going to feel? Is this going to be something that might hurt them? Is this, you, it's just, these yes. kinds of things are very, very important. And when we think about that, we go to uh, Proverbs 13 and 20, and it talks about how, um, how it, it, life comes out of, of, out of love when it happens. Mm -hmm. So Proverbs 13, 3, 13 and 20 talks about that. Now, life versus lies. Lies happen in lust. Mm -hmm. And lies lead to death. Bitterness, envy, and self, self ambition. Was this a self ambition kind of thing? Was it something that was just driven because you just wanted it mm -hmm. and that's it? Right. <laughs> was it something that was even driven out of envy because everyone else is doing it, or because you envied, you know, how someone else, uh, what you see on television? Mm -hmm. Is this something that's driven out of that? That's the spirit of lust. Okay, and then we go on to the O in love, and it's ordained. We talked about mm -hmm. that last week. It's set apart for a purpose. Is this act of sex? being really set apart for a purpose? Mm -hmm. Is it really set apart for something other than just doing it? Right. Very important to pay attention to. Um, that we can find in Leviticus with the uncleanness of it. You remember in Leviticus, it's, it lays out a, um, a very, God lays out a very strategic thing for worship mm -hmm. and how certain things are ordained and certain things are unclean. Mm -hmm. So when you think of lust and the you in lust, it's unclean. Mm -hmm. Is this act going to be unclean? Is it going to leave me feeling dirty? Yes. Is it going to leave me feeling like I have done something that has totally messed me up? Is it going to? And, and we know that all of us have been there. Oh, if, if not all of us, most of us have been in a place where we have lied down in the, in the act of sex and we felt unclean. Mm -hmm. We felt dirty. You know, like, yes. why did I do this? Why, why am I doing this? And we may not even vocalize it, but it'll become the, uh, to come out in our spirits. Yeah, because you're not fully persuaded. Not, come on, we're not fully persuaded in what, what, what we really did. Right. We right. don't really have yeah, an understanding. Did you, or did you do it because someone else? Exactly. And we're going to get into that. But exactly. You, um, go ahead. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, v, vigor. 
-hmm. This is important. I love this one because um, this is we're talking about love now. We're in the V in love. And when you think about the story of Samson, and you can find that in Jude 16, mm -hmm. Samson had strength. He mm -hmm. had vigor. And uh, his problem or his issue was when he fell in lust with Delilah. Mm -hmm. And when he came, fell in lust with Delilah, it became a, a, a spoil kind of thing because mm -hmm. she was trying to get some information Thank out you. of him. Yes. She was trying to get something out of him. And spoils means booty or plunder taken in war. Mm -hmm. Okay. Booty. Mm -hmm. Now, I want to deal with that. Now, we're talking now. We're yeah. talking. And we hear a lot of things talking about, you, we, we say the word booty all mm -hmm. the time, and we don't even understand what that means. Okay, explain it good. <laughs> <laughs> we have no idea what because that means. Because without knowledge, you cannot make an accurate exactly, exactly. decision. Exactly. Booty, this is, this is what the term booty came from. It was a plunder taken in war. Mm -hmm. So when we think, is this act being something that was done to be stolen from me? Mm-hmm. Okay. And did I allow somebody to steal my treasure? Mm -hmm. Was this something? Here I am fighting against. Here, and this is what we mess, right. this is where we mess up a lot mm -hmm. of times. We're fighting against what we talk about our hormones and our mm -hmm. our bodies, and we're fighting this. And then somebody finally conquers and takes our booty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, so it changes the whole idea right. now. So it's not about us uh, now glorifying the booty. Mm -hmm. No, 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 mm -hmm. no. We, we, we get out of that when we come right. into God. Right. We, when we come into God, we're, taking, we're, we're getting away from that because that takes away our strength. Yes, yes. We have our to understand power. our that's power right. is taken away. Yes. And we have to remember that that's not what we need to be doing. Yes. And the E in love it's to be enjoyed. When we look at the book of Song of Solomon, mm -hmm. it's one of the most beautiful oh, yes, books about love. love, the Eros kind mm -hmm. of love. Yes. It's one of the most beautiful books, and everything is laid out so poetically mm -hmm. and so beautifully, and it's enjoyed. In Proverbs 5, 17 through, 17 through 19, it even talks about the enjoyment mm -hmm. of how it is, but it, how it should be when a man and a woman lay together in mm -hmm. marriage in that covenant, yes. how beautiful it should be. And um, we have to understand it should be enjoyed versus toil, the the T in mm -hmm. lust, which toil means strenuous, tiring, or uh, or tiring work. Mm -hmm. It should not be hard. It should not be a struggle. You should not leave um, an act of sex or in a relationship and be struggling. Right. That's not love. L right. It's not it's love not making. Love. It's, it's not, not right. love making. It's not love making. No. Rather, it's the act of sex or what? Sex. If you're pure in the, sex. Exactly. Yes. It's pure sex, and it's just an, an act. And we're bring, remember, we're bringing in different spirits. Mm -hmm. And we, as women, we have to remember, uh, we hold the power and set the atmosphere. In Proverbs chapters 1 all the way through 9, we begin to find out a layout mm -hmm. of wisdom and what it is. And then it gives you a, a prostitute's idea mm -hmm. of... of um, of what she does and how she brings um, death to you mm -hmm. and how it's such a tiring thing after a while. As a matter of fact, I want to turn to that and just read that just real quick. Where Proverbs 5, okay. 7 through 12. This is very good. Okay. okay. It says, I'll start at... Um, I'll start at verse 7. Mm -hmm. Now then, my sons, listen to me. Do not turn aside from what I say. Keep to a path far from her, lest you lose your honor to others and your dignity to one who is cruel. Let strangers feast on your wealth and your toil enrich the house of another. This is... This is being laid out talking about if you lay with a prostitute mm -hmm. or a woman who is who is unclean mm -hmm. at the end of your life you will groan with your flesh and body are when your flesh and body are spent you will say how i hated discipline how my heart spurned correction i would not obey my teachers or turn my ear to instructors and as i was soon in serious trouble in the assembly of god's people and um Move up to, I'm sorry, verse uh, 21. For your ways are in full view of the Lord, and he examines all your paths. The evil deeds of the wicked ensnare them. The cords of the sins hold them fast. For lack of discipline, they will die, led astray by their own great folly. We have to understand as women, once again, that we set the tone. Yes. We set the atmosphere. Like we said last yes. week, if a man uh, doesn't have a woman to be this kind of way, he won't have anyone else to go to. He will have to wait, and he will have to be set in order okay. because we set that <laughs> atmosphere. Well, I was on Facebook yesterday, uh -huh. and I saw <coughs> the most remarkable post. Okay. And it said, and a young uh, black lady, mm -hmm. young black girl, mm -hmm. girl, mm -hmm. was holding 
a, a sign that mm -hmm. says, my vagina, my rules. Wow. Wow. My, my wow. vagina, my rules. Wow. Powerful. Yes. Powerful. And from that, we can still talk about virginity mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and how powerful yes. virginity is. Yes, yes. Because uh, in Luke, it says so when uh, the angels went to Mary and when Mary, well, because you were chosen, because um, like 1 in 28, mm -hmm. thou are highly favored mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because you were fully persuaded mm -hmm. that my body belongs to me. Yes. It is my rules. Yes, yes. I right. will not allow anybody out of lust right, to right. talk me out of my right, precious right, commodity. Right, right, right. Exactly. My temple. This mm -hmm. is my temple. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It is. I will not allow anybody to defile it. Yes. yes. I, I will not allow that. Yes, yes. I will not allow you to come and take my temple yes. and use it for a trash can. Yes. You know, because mm -hmm. they're not thinking. Exactly. You're, when you're indulging in mm -hmm. the act of sex, right. Right. you're not thinking of where you are depositing mm -hmm. your most powerful possession, mm -hmm. your DNA. Mm -hmm. That never comes to mind no, no. unless you are love making. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Love making. Mm -hmm. And since we, <clears throat> the queen, set the tone. Mm -hmm. We set the atmosphere. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It is our body who carries life. Exactly. Then we are in control. And that's exactly. why I love that post. Exactly. Oh, that was beautiful. I love that, that post. Mm -hmm. My vagina, mm -hmm. my rules. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You dance by my music. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And since I am connected because I'm wow. a virgin, I'm fully persuaded yes. Yes. that God has a man for me that he, yes. God, yes. will send to me. Yes. yes. I don't have to look for him because it says so. Right. It says so, a that a man findeth. Find find mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that means that I should hold my standard high. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That my banner, my flag should be waved saying, my vagina, exactly. my rules. That's right. I like that. That's I good. am fully persuaded mm -hmm. that I am to save That's myself good. That's good. from my husband. Right. That night would be the the 4th of July with the bombs bursting, yes, yes. Uh, uh, the firecrackers going off. Mm -hmm. These huge uh, experiences that I've never experienced. Yes. All of those hormones mm -hmm. and all of that thi those things that God put mm -hmm. in my body. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He put it in there for a reason. For a reason. Yes, for a reason. For a reason. So here I can lay with the man that I love. Right. right. I'm married. I'm fully persuaded in our marriage and right. our togetherness and right. our bond. Right. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful. That my virginity mm -hmm. is sacred. Yes. yes. And to be saved for that moment. Yes. Mm. That should be shared between a husband yes. and a wife. Yes. 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 We are awesome. Awesome. We are awesome mm -hmm. because we don't sit up and let somebody come tell you, oh, if you love me, you would. Right. How can you love somebody you don't know what love is? Right. Exactly. How exactly. Can, so why would, should you give up your precious commodity, mm -hmm. your virginity, your, you're saying to God, I'm waiting, I'm, I'm fully persuaded mm -hmm. with what you say. Mm -hmm. That my body is a temple, mm -hmm. and it should only be given to the man that I love, that I am married to, exactly. that you have sent me. Exactly, exactly. And I've even heard, uh, I've even heard uh, older women tell young women this, mm -hmm. and I understand that this is what they were told: mm -hmm. you can only get out of a person mm -hmm. what has been put into them. That's right. That's right. Uh, don't lay down and get up with just a wet. <laughs> I, that is so funny that you bring that up. I was just thinking about that this morning. That's what, what we've been taught. Yes. That's what, what's what, going around. What? Yes. So why don't you tell me don't lay down at all? Yes. Yes. Because basically that's the spirit of prostitution that you're Thank basically you. telling me to you're do. You're telling them. Telling me so don't. So then you wonder yeah. where, their, where, where, where their integrity is, mm -hmm. where their dignity is. Mm -hmm. the, the, these are the people that you see every day. Mm -hmm. These are your parents. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the, don't get up. Mm -hmm. Don't get up. Mm -hmm. Don't lay down. Mm -hmm. Don't lay down. That's right. That's right. That's right. You do not lay down with the intent mm -hmm. of getting paid for your press. Is there a price on that? Right. Can you price that? No. It's higher than rubies. That's what we're talking about. Uh, 
The Can you price? It is priceless. priceless. That's right. That's right. It is priceless. That mm -hmm. covenant that you share mm -hmm. when your blood is shed, mm -hmm. when that hymen is broken, mm -hmm. that is a strong bond. Yes, that is. is your spiritual bond. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. 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 I'm saying to all of the young ladies yes. that are out there, yes. know who you are. Yes. Know whose you are. Yes. Know what you are. Mm -hmm. How do I wait? How do I wait? How, How do I wait? How? I wait by staying in the word. Okay. I okay. wait by knowing who I am, whose I am, and what I am. Mm. I am nobody's play toy. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. know, I rule this body. Mm -hmm. Not just the vagina, but I rule a mind. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. So I will not allow you. Mm -hmm. I will not give away. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. you come tell me some garbage because I am not a garbage can. Right. Right, right. Ooh, no, wait. Be good. fully persuaded yes, yes. in your walk with God. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, the most important thing after being fully, fully persuaded mm -hmm. and knowing who you are mm -hmm. is don't put yourself in that position. Ooh, yes. <laughs> don't put yourself in the yes. position where you're yeah. necking and kissing. and yeah. And because, you know, once you get there and those hormones start taking over, if you're yes. not strong enough, mm -hmm. especially if you're young and you don't know what you're doing, mm -hmm. Then you're not gonna be strong enough to fight off. Oh my God, you saying something? Fight you off. You saying something? Those feelings. Yes, yes. You're not prepared for that. You're yes. not mature yes, for that. Yes. Yes. Sex is for adults, married adults. Yes. Now we have those feelings. God put those feelings on, in you from the moment you were born. Mm -hmm. You have those hormones. That's you right. have those feelings. That's right. Because you know little children what they do mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. when you pull their diapers yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. Okay, they, yes. that's a normal it's thing. It's a normal thing. But reaction. now that yes. you are growing up in the admonition of God, mm -hmm. know who you are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't put yourself in the position of necking because, mm -hmm. see, then you want to tell the boy, oh, stop, stop, stop. Right. But see, what you saying is stop. But what you, what you, your persona is, keep going. That's right. Keep going. You're bringing in the yes. atmosphere of You're lust. setting that tone. You're setting that You're tone. setting that, you're that setting atmosphere. That's right. He and didn't then do you, it. You're doing then it. Then you want, because you're in control. Mm -hmm. This is, unless he is, is raping you and when he, sh when you say stop, he should stop. Exactly. But let's exactly. be honest with this. When you are in yes. a situation like that mm -hmm. and you are too young, even adults don't know what to do. Hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and you don't know mm -hmm. what you're doing, how mm -hmm. you're doing, when you're doing it, who you're doing mm -hmm. it with. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you're just willing to plant your DNA anywhere. Right. That's the righteousness of God. That is who you are. Yes. You're just going to haphazardly drop mm -hmm. it someplace. Exactly. I'm speaking to the men. Yeah. You ought to know that. Yeah. yeah. And young ladies, yeah. don't give your precious commodity to anybody. Yes. That is other than your husband that God has sent you, that you has that you have asked God for. Exactly. Wait. Exactly. With the expectations that God has the right yes. man for yes. you. Yes. Wait knowing that I rule me. Mm -hmm. These mm -hmm. this is my body. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You enter inside my body. Mm -hmm. I don't enter inside yours. Mm -hmm. So I control the entrance. Exactly. Um, I mean everything that you're saying is so awesome. It's so wonderful and it's magnificent and it's something that we need to continue to discuss and we need to continue to get out into our women because it's, it's special. Oh, my God. I'm, so, I'm sitting over here as if I was a teenager. Yes. Again. Yes. It's, 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 it's bringing those emotions mm -hmm. in me that I really wish that I had been taught. Yeah. But my mother wasn't taught that. Right. Right. She well, she wasn't taught that, right, right. and so she could not give to she me give what she was not Your taught. Aunts couldn't give. Nobody no. could really give no, you this, what you We needed. are ordained mm -hmm, right now. Mm -hmm. This is our purpose. Mm -hmm, our calling mm -hmm. is to let the young girls know. Yes, yes. You don't want to end up with a whole lot of children. Exactly. Who you are responsible for for exactly. everything but the exactly. air that it breathes. Exactly. And I want to speak to the the young ladies who are probably there from uh, young to old. Yes. Especially when we talk about setting the atmosphere. We're living in a time where we have music, we have uh, movies, we have t all the sex is just everywhere. The idea of sex and the wrong kind of sex, the yes. lustful kind of sex. And we're talking about setting atmospheres and we're talking about these moods that you get in. 
you have to learn, like you said, staying in the word. How do I stay in the word? How do I do that when I probably, when I find the Bible probably boring or I probably don't want to go to church or all this kind of stuff? Listen. This is how, this is what you should be doing. This is a couple of tools and a couple of tips that I'm going to give you right now. The music, watch the music that you're listening to. Yes. You don't need to be listening to, uh, I may be young, but I'm ready. Yes. If you ain't really ready. You just because the beats sound good or whatever. Listen to these words that we are listening to because music gets into our spirits. And before you know it, it's it, when I say get into our spirits, we're acting out those things that are in the music. Yes. So watch what you're listening to. Yes. That's one of the main things. Yes. Watch what you're listening to, young people and older women as well. And we find a lot of older women yes. that's struggling with the same thing. Yes. Stop, watch what you're listening to. Watch who you're hanging around. You don't need to go to these different places. You don't need to be watching these different things. If it's going to bring up this lustful spirit in you that you cannot control. Yes, yes. We have to learn how to do that. I didn't know how. Yes, I didn't Until either. now. Now I yes. understand. Now I and, get and, it. And now I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm always thinking to myself, what if I had known this? Yeah, oh, my yeah, God. Yeah. Where would I be today? Exactly. You know, I, I am grateful to God for everything that has happened in my life. Mm -hmm. But this journey right now. Yeah. This, these steps right now yes. that I'm taking yes. are the most precious ones to me yes. because I'm able to give out mm -hmm. what has, I have researched, I have learned, I have experienced exactly. Exactly. to the young women. Mm -hmm. Listen, yes. pay attention. Yes, pay, pay attention. That's right. Know who you are. Mm -hmm. Learn about you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't let anybody tell you what you should do. Mm -hmm. Ask God what you should do. Exactly. Create exactly. that relationship. I don't care if you, but five. My little cousin, seven years old, wrote a letter to God. Mm. And she said she wanted God to help her with this. Now listen to this. Seven. Mm -hmm. She's mm -hmm. seven. Mm -hmm. But see, she's being taught right now who her help comes from, yeah. Yeah. who her God is. Mm -hmm. That's, That's what we're trying to instill in you right now. Who God is. That's good. Use That's good. God because He loves you. That's Cast good. your cares because He loves you. Use Him to 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 uh, to uh, deposit into you yeah. so you can redeposit yeah. into someone yeah, else's because we, life. We all know that the holiday season. I don't know we're running out of town, but we know the holiday season is coming up, yes. and a lot of us have trained our children to believe in Santa Claus. And our children are so excited about writing letters and lists yes. and sending stuff to the North Pole and everything. That is beautiful. That she knows that she can write and have a relationship with, with God, God, the person who, the one who gives life. The creator. The creator. And I think that's something that we have to start. That's beautiful. Start teaching our children, children the relationship yes. that they can have with God. What their bodies Not are. just Santa yes, Claus. That's right. <laughs> Not just Teach them fairy. about exactly. God. Exactly. Santa Claus, that's what you do, that's mm -hmm. what you do. Mm -hmm. But you need to teach them about God. Teach them about God as well. God is exactly. the Santa Claus. Exactly. Well, once again, we've had a fire oh, session wow. and time will keep going on and we'll yes. keep talking but we're going to keep coming back and we keep we're going to keep dealing with this subject until God says let it go yes. because this is something a conversation that we need to have and we need to continue to take place we had a wonderful yes. time again yes. once again we would like to say thank you to everyone yes. who is watching we appreciate your support our families and our friends and we love you and we ask that you will continue to watch us continue to pray for us and keep us in your spirits yes and for all the queens all yes. over the world we rock yes. and peace be unto you So then you and I could be free. That's what he gave. I saw you walking out there. That's what he gave.